This is why Zuckerberg backed down. This is why Zuckerberg said, look, in 2022, we're not doing what we did in 2020. It's too hot. There's too much fire being directed at me. We're not doing it, doing it again. So first off, let's just talk solely about the money. Let's talk solely about the money. I want to pull that clip from Rigged. Uh, you can get it at rig2020.com. Let's pull the clip. Uh, first clip I've got on the money. Expenditures by the Democrat National Committee for the entire two-year 2020 election cycle totaled $461 million. $461 million. So that's what all of the DNC spent over a two-year period, over a two-year period across the nation, $461 million. Zuckerberg, using the Chan Zuckerberg Foundation, gave $400 million dollars. What would that be? 85, I'm not great at math, um, 80, 85 uh, percent of the entire DNC budget for the nation for two years, he gave in one lump sum. And if you think that that was evenly distributed between conservatives and liberals, between Republican and Democrat jurisdictions, you are woefully, woefully mistaken, my friend. And I'll tell you, the, the suggestion that it was distributed evenly, well, let me borrow a quote from President Trump about this. He said, literally, it's crap. Let's take that clip. Uh, well, look where he spent it. I've read where he spent 97% in Democrat areas. So he's putting money under the guise that he's going to open up the election and all of that. That's all crap not going to open it up. He's closing it. He's making it impossible for a Republican to win. And when you think about that, imagine had Republicans gotten the same amount that they spent over a two-year period. Imagine if the RNC had gotten a gift like that. Imagine if the Koch brothers had done that. Can you, I mean, just, you can't imagine the caterwauling that would have come from the left, from the media, from liberals, from academe, from Hollywood, all over the place. They would have talked about rich people buying the elections. We've seen what they have done with uh, Elon Musk just floating the idea of acquiring Twitter. They have lost their minds. If conservatives or libertarians had given $400, $500 uh, million dollars to Donald J. Trump, to the Republican Party, they would have gone nuts. But Zuckerberg did it, and hardly a peep uh, hardly a peep was made. Now, the way he did that is uh, he, like so many others on the left, he took advantage of COVID and the opportunities that that afforded. They had already placed in position a, um, a narrative that said, we have to protect people above all costs. They can't be exposed. Uh, forget masking. Masking's not enough. You need to stay in your home. You need to stay in your car. You don't get out. You don't expose yourself to other people. They would even, when they would go to rallies for Biden, one of the funniest videos we had all that year was um, a video of a Biden rally where people showed up in their cars. It looked like it was about a dozen people in cars parked in a parking lot listening to Biden speak. It was ridiculous. So they had gotten the narrative out that we can't be exposed to each other uh, for fear of, of the virus spreading. So the next step then was to make absentee balloting, mail-in balloting, and these new ballot drop boxes the, th the go-to thing. So the Chan Zuckerberg Foundation, uh, through, they donated that money to CT C CTCL, the Center for Tech and Civic Life. And CTCL put together a bunch of grants, offered grants out to supposedly help mitigate COVID risks during the election. But it turns out there may have been an enormous bait and switch. Let's take that video. The emails going back and forth are about buying equipment, buying more mail sorters. Somewhere along the line, the evidence is showing that there may very well have been a bait and switch, that the bait was to keep citizens safe from COVID, but then it switched, it may very well have switched to a partisan get out the vote effort on behalf of Joe Biden for the purpose of defeating Donald Trump. Now, David Plouffe, who is a um, who was involved in this setup, he's a longtime Democrat operative. He has made the point before that because Republicans are so much better at getting out their votes than Democrats, the Democrats start the race behind. And that's true. 
COVID presented the perfect opportunity for Democrats to overcome that gulf. If we have trouble getting our, our voters out, well, let's just not get them out. Let's just send ballots straight to them. And let's send ballots to everybody else we can possibly think of. And let's have people harvest those ballots. And let's have them go to nursing homes to harvest those ballots. And let's create these ballot drop boxes where people can drop ballots in overnight. Uh, let's not worry about signature verification. The list uh, goes on and on. And if you feel like that is a very uh, unsafe, unsecure way to conduct an election, you would be right.